Um, what should we be doing today to end racism in a generation? I'm Stephen Twigg. I'm a Labour MP here in Liverpool, representing the West Derby constituency. But Andrew Stunnell, MP, OBE, is a Liberal Democrat MP and the Parliamentary Under Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government. So I'm making sure that everybody, regardless of their skin colour, their, their heritage, their religion, uh, has got the opportunity to prosper, gets the capacity and is shown how to be ambitious about using that capacity. Esther McVie, MP, Conservative MP for Will West in 2010. She's currently the Parliamentary Private Secretary to the Employment Minister. It's not about sitting in a room saying, what can other people do for us? It's not about sitting in a room, you know, you know, throwing insults at it. It's about getting together. And Earl Jenkins, who's chair of Liverpool Youth Organisation, Unity Youth, and is presently working as a learning support mentor at Calderstone Specialist Science College. It's as simple as that. Poverty leads to crime. Dr. Rob Berkeley, director of the Runnymede Trust, and Runnymede has been working with uh, One North West uh, and others to put on this uh, event tonight. I think the aim of tonight's event was to explore racism in modern Britain and the ways in which we can overcome racism. I think it was very appropriate that the event was held here in the Slavery Museum, uh, which bears witness to the appalling legacy of racism in this country. And there's no such thing as an English person, because when you look at your passport, you're a British subject. So if you want to stop something and start afresh, get rid of your colour bar, which is hidden. You talk about apartheid of America and South Africa, we have it here and it's still being used. Then we can start having racism against the police, which is twice as bad. I've got to say this, unfortunately, is that we've seen the media have been exposed for how bad they are, the politicians, unfortunately, have been exposed for how bad they are, and so the bankers, and they're the three things that run a country. We've got our youth services all over Lancashire, we've got one main youth workers who knows what we go through, what we deal with with our families in respect to religious points of view, where you cut your own, what do you want us to do, stand on the street, then we get in trouble for doing that. You can't just sit at home where you can get bored. Okay. I liked how challenging it got. Uh, often these debates are very polite, but tonight we had uh, some real challenge about what politicians do, do and what kind of actions we can take to address racism. And I think uh, instead of it being at the question time, it became much more uh, an answer time. What do the panel think can be done to tackle the rise of far-right extremism? Does anybody else get the feeling that politicians, as usual, are sat there in front of us, lying through their teeth, basically? Yeah, yeah. If you've heard, if you, the same service you want to increase things in and have role models and so forth, <laughs> then you're cutting funding in left, right and centre. Do you feel ashamed, especially that liberal man? I don't expect anything different from the Tory person, but do you not feel ashamed supporting the government, putting things that you said need increasing? I took 10 years to become a politician, whether people like it or not, and I funded myself and we went our own way. So what I would say to people in this room who believe as much as I believe that I want to be a politician, because trust me, I'm as straight as you like, and I tell it as it is. If you want at the back to become a politician, I will help you all the way. I will give you whatever you need, whatever contacts you need to go forward, because obviously you have a lot to say. And if people have got a lot to say, feel they've got the fire in the belly to actually make change, then I will support you. Liam Burns, your Treasury Minister, left that infamous stick it note. It's there is fire. no money we left. Beyond the words, we are not here to party okay. okay. so yeah. when you know, like anywhere, that not only have you no money left, as the government that exited power said, actually you've got the biggest deficit in peacetime history. Esther? No, no, no. Okay, let's no, 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 okay, let's let Realistically, I'd like people who are in this room to feel that they were part of something bigger, that they could take action again, that they could hold politicians to account. I don't really see any change on behalf of the three politicians on the panel. I'd like more people to be uh, discussing issues around race and racism. I'd like it to be higher up on the political agenda. 
Uh, but I also like people to leave an event like this being inspired about what they can do uh, to make change. We need to make sure that we've got a strong national framework and we need to make sure that at local government and local community level we're taking responsibility for developing and building our equality strategies. Stephen? There's a strong sort of anti-politician, anti-politics mood in the country as a whole that's reflected in some of the applause tonight, but in the end politics is going to be the way that a lot of these issues are resolved. Whether that's the politics of protest, or the politics of standing for election. I think it needs to be both, engaging in communities, but also engaging in politics.